Let's get right into it. Number 8. The Invisible Gorilla Effect Picture this, you're watching a video of people passing a basketball. You're told to count how many times the players in white shirts pass it. You're focused, locked in, counting every move like your life depends on it. Then the video ends, and someone asks, did you see the gorilla? What gorilla? That's the point. In the middle of the clip, a person in a gorilla suit walks across the screen, beats their chest, and leaves. Half of people watching completely miss it. Why? Because your brain doesn't see with your eyes, it sees with your attention. This is called inattentional blindness. Your brain filters out irrelevant data so it can focus on what it thinks matters. In theory, this is efficient. In practice, it means you could literally ignore a gorilla doing jazz hands three feet away. You experience this glitch all the time. Missing details, forgetting names, not noticing when your phone magically teleports from your pocket to the counter. Your brain edits your world in real time, deleting everything it considers unnecessary. Basically. Your perception isn't a camera, it's a lazy editor cutting corners to meet a deadline. So the next time someone accuses you of not paying attention, just tell them your brain's graphics card was buffering. Number 7. The False Memory Factory You'd like to think your memories are like photos. Crisp, reliable snapshots of reality. Spoiler, they're not. They're more like bad fanfiction written by your brain and revised every time you remember them. This is called reconstructive memory. Every time you recall something, your brain rebuilds the memory from fragments, and each rebuild slightly distorts it. Add emotions, external suggestions, or time, and congratulations. You now believe things that never happened. There's a famous experiment where researchers convinced people they were lost in a mall as a child. Spoiler, none of them actually were. But after enough prompting, they started remembering the fake event vividly, describing details, sounds, and feelings that didn't exist. Your brain isn't trying to lie to you. It's just trying to make sense of chaos. It edits memories for emotional consistency, not truth. That's why you might remember your ex being worse than they were, or, horrifyingly, better. Basically, your memory is less of a filing cabinet and more of a creative writing workshop that keeps revising history until you believe the latest draft. So yeah, you might be the unreliable narrator in your own life story. Number 6. Phantom Phone Syndrome You felt it, that weird little buzz in your pocket when your phone didn't actually buzz. You grab it, expecting a message, nothing. Congratulations, your brain just hallucinated technology. This is called phantom vibration syndrome, and it's disturbingly common. Studies show up to 90% of people experience it. Your brain has literally rewired itself to expect phone notifications, so much that it creates them when they're not there. The reason? Dopamine. Every time your phone buzzes, your brain releases a small hit of the feel-good chemical. Over time, your nervous system gets trigger-happy, misinterpreting random muscle twitches or pressure changes as phantom alerts. It's like your brain's addicted to the idea of being wanted, even if it has to fake it. Back in the day, our ancestors had hyper-alert senses to detect predators or food. Today, those same neural circuits are just waiting for TikTok likes, evolution's greatest masterpiece, reduced to a vibrating leg and disappointment. Basically, your brain is the over-enthusiastic intern who keeps sending you fake emails just to stay busy. So if you just reached for your phone after hearing that, don't worry, your brain's just glitching again. Number 5. The Spotlight Illusion You walk into a room and immediately feel like everyone's looking at you. Your outfit, your face, that one weird hair sticking up like it's auditioning for attention. But here's the truth, nobody cares. This is called the spotlight effect, and it's your brain's way of dramatically overestimating how much other people notice or care about you. Evolutionarily, it made sense. Early humans survived by monitoring how others perceived them. Social rejection back then could literally mean death. But now, it just means you're sweating over imaginary judgment from strangers who are too busy overthinking their own lives to notice yours. Psychologists found that when participants wore an embarrassing t-shirt, like one with Barry Manilow's face on it, they thought half the room noticed. In reality, only about 20% did. The rest didn't even care. Your brain creates this illusion because it assumes you are the main character in everyone else's story. Spoiler, you're not. You're just an uncredited extra in most people's mental movies. So next time you walk into a room feeling like a spotlight's on you, remember that's not pressure. That's just your brain's camera crew filming a documentary no one else is watching. Basically, your brain's ego runs a full-time delusion department. Number 4. The Time Warp Glitch You've probably noticed how time feels weird. Sometimes hours disappear in minutes. Other times, five minutes stretch into an eternity of boredom. Your watch says the same thing, but your brain's clock? Totally unreliable. This is the time perception glitch. Your brain doesn't actually measure time. It guesses, and that guess depends on what you're doing, feeling, or fearing. When something new or dangerous happens, your brain records more data per second, making the moment feel longer. That's why car crashes, roller coasters, or awkward family dinners seem to last forever. 
But when you're relaxed or doing something repetitive, your brain takes fewer snapshots, and time speeds up. That's why you blink and suddenly the day's over. Or worse, your weekend is. Scientists say your brain uses a network called the striatum, which tracks dopamine levels to estimate how much time has passed. More dopamine? Time flies. Less dopamine? Time drags. Which means boredom literally slows down your perception of time, a biological punishment for not being entertained. Basically, your brain's clock is like a cheap wristwatch from a gas station. It's not broken, it's just vibing. So next time you say this day will never end, remember, it won't, because your brain's in slow motion mode, punishing you for existing without stimulation. Number 3. The Ownership Illusion Ever feel like your body does things before you decide to do them? Like catching something mid-air or slamming the brakes just in time? That's not instinct, that's your brain acting without you. There's a delay, about 200 milliseconds, between when your brain decides to move and when you become aware of it. So technically, your brain moves your body before you do. You're basically watching a live broadcast of yourself, but it's on a slight delay. The weird part? Your brain edits the timeline to make it feel like you made the decision consciously. It literally rewrites a reality to keep you from realizing how little control you have. This is called post-dictive processing. Your brain fills in cause and effect after the fact so you feel like you're the one steering. It's like your consciousness is a narrator who shows up late but still insists they were there the whole time. Ever touch something hot and pull away before realizing it hurt? That's the same system. Your body's acting on autopilot, and your awareness just takes credit after the fact. Basically, your brain's running the show, and yourself is just the PR department pretending to be in charge. So yeah, you're not actually driving the car. You're just holding the steering wheel and hoping the autopilot doesn't glitch. Number 2. The Mirror Doppelganger You ever stare at yourself in the mirror too long and suddenly feel like you're looking at a stranger? That eerie, uncanny sensation that your reflection isn't you anymore? Congratulations, your brain just tripped over its own perception system. It's called the Troxler Effect, mixed with a dash of derealization. When you stare at one point for too long, your brain starts fading out constant visual information to save energy, like deleting background files. Except your face isn't supposed to be background data, so your reflection starts warping, shifting, even looking slightly alien. Some people report seeing their face morph into someone else's, or even feeling detached from their own body. It's not supernatural, it's sensory adaptation gone too far. Your brain's job is to make reality efficient, not accurate. So when input gets too repetitive, it literally starts editing you out of existence for a second. Basically, the longer you stare at your reflection, the more your brain quietly goes. Okay, we've seen enough of this meat avatar. Time to free up memory. Mull. So yeah, next time your reflection freaks you out, don't call an exorcist. Call your neurons. They're the real culprits. Number 1. The reality lag. Right now, as you're reading this, you're actually living 80 milliseconds in the past. No. That's not some matrix reference, that's how long your brain takes to process incoming sensory data. Everything you see, hear, and touch already happened a fraction of a second ago. You're living inside a delayed broadcast of reality, smoothed over so you don't notice. It's like watching a live stream that's buffering just enough to pretend it's in sync. Your brain does this to synchronize all your senses, vision, hearing, touch, since they travel at different speeds. Without that lag, your world would feel chaotic and disjointed but it also means your conscious now is technically already over. So when you think you're reacting in real time, you're actually catching up to the past, like a cosmic version of closed captions. Basically, your brain's been running on a slight delay your whole life, and you didn't even notice. And the weirdest part? The only reason it works is because your brain lies about the timing of everything, constantly editing your experience so you think it's live. So yeah, your brain's not just glitchy, it's a master illusionist, keeping you blissfully unaware that you're always a step behind reality.